hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, we are doing a podcast, and that's TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-D. What's up? Uh, not a lot, dude. It's uh, bright and early on a it late morning on a Sunday afternoon, very, just as always. Very bright and early on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, uh, yeah, things. we want to thank you all for joining us here on the Crazy Town Podcast. As always, whether you're listening to us on our YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media or uh, on audio only on Spotify, iTunes, or any of those places, please make sure to subscribe if you enjoy what you're listening to today. This guy, he's on Twitch. You can check him out there. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock Central. That's AM. TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town. Start your morning off right with some dynamite in your life. Yeah. Yeah. I like to start my morning off right with dynamite in my life. Jonas, would you let somebody fuck your wife? <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just asking. Uh, probably not. Because we, we didn't get into this, but About apparently cuckolding? it was news. We did. Cuckolding I, is news? Yeah, cuckolding is news. Funny enough, how you should mention that. So apparently, you know, Will Smith. And oh, I heard. I saw there was some Jada Will news, but I didn't know what it was. But anyways. It's old now because I didn't bring it up last week or the week you before. You did mention Will Jada at the end, but we didn't like doll. I know. I, did, I wanted to get. I didn't want to get into it because it didn't. It hadn't resolved at the point that we were recording. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So now there's more. there's more of like a finality to it so yeah. we can talk about we, it. Okay. We, we do have a little bit of a backlog so it makes it kind of difficult to get into things that are happening as they're happening but so will smith and jada pinkett they have been together since like the fucking 90s oh right? yeah yeah yeah. they were like did, i think they met on fresh prince or something i think she was like because i remember her being on fresh prince yeah, or probably, something yeah. it was something like that so they've been together for a very long time and they have been very vocal about the state of their relationship um, maybe not totally disclosing everything, but they're basically saying, look, we are together forever because we have children and we know each other. We respect each other. They're good for each other, but maybe just not good at being married together. But yeah. They, but they've, they've stuck through it to well, maintain right, Because over the years, I could have swore I've heard things where they like, there's, they go many, many months without like being in different place, you know, cause they're famous anyway. So that they're always, so it's like, they have that like. Um, and I'll, I'll delve into that. I want you to finish what you're doing. Cause I have it All right. So either way, it seems like they have an agreement. It seems like they have an agreement. And I'm sure Will Smith is out here getting his. Oh, and yeah. Apparently well, Jada's... they're famous and they're always traveling. So well, I don't know if Jada. I don't know what Jada does, to be honest. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. I don't know what she does. She at home by herself She's... knitting while Will's out smashing? Dude? What's she doing? What is, what is Jada doing? Will Smith was in Aladdin. He's diving off of mountains and jumping out of helicopters and putting shit on his YouTube. I don't know what Jada does. But either way, I got to take it away from her. She's a beautiful woman. She is very talented. I don't know what the fuck she does, but apparently she's fucking August Alcina. Who's that? You wouldn't know. He's an R&B singer from that was prevalent maybe like 10 years ago. Oh, so had like. A, had a bunch of really good songs. And really so, oh, so in the 2000s. Yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. Either way, apparently this guy had written songs that kind of uh, alluded to him having a relationship with Jada. And then people kept saying like, oh, this dude's a homewrecker. He felt inclined to then do a full-fledged fucking interview with Angela Yee on her fucking platform and be like hey yo i was me and jada we was dating you know we had a we had a relationship which then sparks jada and will smith to sit across from each other at a circular table one of them wearing sweatpants and a polo shirt and then they, sweatpants and a polo i don't know, I don't know dude it doesn't that was matter jada what, right it doesn't matter no. <laughs> it doesn't matter what no jada was sitting there know, fucking I, indian style i'm sorry native indigenous people style <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking say she has an, an entanglement with this man. Now, what does entanglement stand for? That means she was fucking him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well. That means she was fucking him. So this is my thing. It's like, okay, so sure, they have an open relationship. But how messy is it that the dude that she was sleeping with ended up coming across and saying to the world in the midst of him releasing an album. By the way, he is releasing an album. Nobody knows what the fuck the name of the album is, but this is a part of his rollout. 
Well, it's yeah, dude, get I'm his fucking... name out there, dude. Get some sales. Yo, that's any that's... Ba- any pub is good pub, dude. That's that's nasty though. Oh yeah, dude. That's very nasty. Well, well, the 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 interesting part of that is normally in these scenarios, it is flipped. That's it is, what you would expect. It's the guy who's sleeping around, and the woman he's sleeping with is the one that like comes out and says, "Hey, I'm yeah, you know, whatever." When she, when she decides to start selling her own line of like spanks or some shit. Right, right. Um, now, I mean, it. I feel that like. Uh, that is dirty. On whose behalf? The, I feel that like it is basically, dude. What I think it comes down to in that is the consent issue. What do you? What do you? What do you mean consent issue? Because everybody was consenting. I'm sure. But what I mean is the consent of breaking the publicity of it. Uh, because because every because like if if you and your partner are in an open relationship. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure when these conversations start between Jada and whatever this dude is, or person A, person B, you know, a lot of times it's like, yeah, we have her, especially since they're in the spotlight. Hey, I have an open relationship. We're cool. We can do this. But I don't consent to you telling anybody about Good it. Word. And and that's part of the agreement. I'm sure, especially if you're famous, if you're not famous, people are like whatever. But I'm sure that has come out like if we do this, you have to, you know, you can't just go blaring it out there because we don't want that part of our life out. Jonas, that's like on page two of the guy code manual. It's on page two. What's what is? Don't say anything. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up is on page two. What's page one? Page one is. God damn it, Jonah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, don't pull it out in front of your friends. Oh, okay. Oh, I got you. But like, okay, I got you. Oh, like, not, I thought you had w- number one on deck. So, no. Okay. I was just... But you're just saying, like, it's not the most important thing in the guy code, but it's way up there. It is. Shutting the fuck up is the most important thing on the guy code because we have all been burned. At least I, most of the people that by, I know. By one of your friends. By, <laughs> by some chick that didn't shut the fuck up. Oh, sorry. All right. I've been burned by a chick that wouldn't shut the fuck up. So that's why I hold shut the fuck up as so high on the guy code list of commands. Well, that's not only for the women in the guy's life. It's for the guys in the guy's life, too. Because it's like, if your friend should not talk about anything about you. Right. Period. Right. Unless you, like, if me and you are out somewhere, I never bring up anything about you that you don't start talking about first. Because you don't know who or if they want that information out there. Like, it can be simple as simple as you like you like to paint. And, like, I'm out like, yeah, you man, dude, that's like you were at the house the other day painting and it looked really good. And you're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's not your information to tell. But if you come out and you're like, hey, Jonas, dude, what do you think about my painting? I'm like, oh, this guy's a good artist, ladies. You should come check him out. Look at his painting. You know, it, but it's, it could be as simple as that or... It, it, Shut the fuck up about who you're hanging out with. It kind of reminds me of a joke, and I'm going to tell it badly because I'm terrible at telling jokes. But it was a joke about um, a woman didn't come home until four in the morning last night. So the guy takes her phone and calls 10 of her friends. And all of them are like, no, I haven't seen her in so long. I'm worried sick. And the same thing happens with the guy. He comes home at three o'clock. She calls 10 of his friends and eight of them are like, he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> And the other two are like, yeah, he's on his way home now. So it's just kind of like, yes, guy code is shut the fuck up. Cover. You know? I don't know. That was like, uh, there was, I think I've talked about the story before, but there was a movie called, uh, uh, it's a guy thing or something. It was like a kind of like a reverse, like romantic kind of comedy in the, uh, in the, um, in the like early 2000s that came out. And there's a scene where the woman finds another girl's panties. And he makes up a, uh, and he's like, he's like, oh no, I bought, they had a, they had an underwear bin at the store and it was, the, it's, a, it's some crazy ass fucking thing. And, and she's like, oh yeah, I'm going to call the motherfucking store then. She calls the store and some guy and he's like, thanks for calling Steve's. And she's like, do you guys have an underwear bin? I, my husband, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, oh yeah, man, we have a great underwear bin. Well, da, 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 da. Yeah. And like he hangs up and like he goes back to her and she goes, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, honey, they do. And then it shows the guy at the store again and the guy's like, what the fuck was that? He goes, it's a guy thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> Fair. And that's what, uh, yo, and 
is that fucked up? No, because in this situation, everybody is consenting. So there's like a guarantee that Will is out here smashing out models. Well, and wait. there's been rumors about Will smashing out models. But he's keeping it on the low. The and NDAs are being signed well, and right. nobody's telling. Well, and that's the problem. I bet you Will, if he if he decides that he's going to, like, if, if they have an open relationship, that's great. It, but I, I'm, I bet you almost nothing that he probably has fucking documents on the saying, ready. Man. The NDAs are being signed. Like, man. Yeah, right. He's like, if we are gonna do this, you have to sign an NDA because <laughs> you don't. You will ruin my career if it comes out. And if it comes out, right? I can sue your ass. He'd be like, why don't you come up to my whole my hotel room? She comes up to the hotel room, sits down. On Johnny the bed. Cochran's in there. <laughs> he's like, ha ha. <laughs> you gotta sign this first. <laughs> I'm sure he does, dude. dude <laughs> if you know, and come to think of it, if I was Will Smith famous. Like, you know, there's there's levels of fame. Will Smith famous is pretty high up there. He's a pretty famous dude. I would, I would, you know, it's like all about protecting yourself. It's like having a prenuptial, if you're a super rich dude and you marry mm. someone who, it's like the same sort of thing. Like Takes all the, all the romanticism out of it. But you know what? I get to fuck Will Smith. Him, him right. banging a side chick on an open relationship ain't about romance. No, absolutely not. And, and like, and, and you get to fuck Will Smith. I'll sign a prenup to fuck Will Smith. Or yeah, or right NDA. Now. You're like, oh, I can screw Will Smith, but I can't tell anybody. Yeah, thank you. Okay. You're, yeah, like, yeah, like if, some, if like some hot celebrity came to me and said, we can have sex, but you can sign this and you can never tell anyone. The, I'd be like, yes, okay, yes, <laughs> Katy Perry, one hundred percent. What do I care if I get to tell my friends? I still got to do it, right? So. Yeah, exactly. Well, and, and Oprah, what, please. Yeah, <laughs> please call guess, me. <clears throat> what I was gonna say earlier is, I think, I think that sort of thing is becoming more common as open relationships. Yes. Mm. What? No. What? And but what I mean is, I think it's becoming more common. Not not more common in like it's like ten percent of the, the things, but I think it's more. It's becoming more um, recognized that. Um, you can, you'll have a partner that's like your partner and like, that's your life partner. Like you, yeah. you, you hand, you may have a family with them. You have a house, you, you build a life together, but then you realize that like, once you've been together 10, 20 years, sometimes they can't but, be everything they want you to be, wow. and, but you don't love them any less. Uh, yeah. So it's like, okay, that's a similar sentiment to what they shared. They right. shared, they were like, you know, I'm. You have to find a way to make yourself happy because I can't sit here and make you happy because it builds resentment. Right. So if something else is going to make you happy, you go and do that. But the relationship is the bond that they have is strong. Right. Exactly. It's like they have a mutual <clears throat> respect. It's like, it's like, so, okay. And that's the weird thing about open relationships is like, you know, it's like it, ha it has to be a. It has to be an, an ebb and flow. Like, because if like I was in a, re a relationship with like a partner. And we've been together, and we're like, okay, if you want to go out and date, that's cool, whatever. And, like, in the first month, my partner goes out and has 60 dates and bangs 60 dudes. And, I, and I've, like, maybe saw one person one time. I'm like, it seems like you are way not happy to be. You know what I mean? If there's a difference between every so often you have a hookup or between, like, just seeking out people constantly. Is it going to become, like, a competition then? Is no, it's not about being a competition, but it's like it's like you have to, you know what I mean? Like if if that was the situation, yeah, I get it, I get you. It's going to hell with a joke. Yeah, I know. Yeah, going to hell with the joke. I get it, and it, I, I do understand what you're saying. It's so I don't know, man. There's like, a lot of intricacies when it comes to like having a successful open relationship. Oh, a thousand man. percent, dude. People are human; they're going to be jealous. Yeah, but For, you know what I you know what I've read about it, and, and it really makes a lot of sense to me. It it's the difference. It's like the the people that are successful with it recognize the difference between jealousy and envy because, mm. because they say that jealousy comes from a place, a negative place. You're worried they're going to take them away from you. You're worried that they're better than you. You're worried that they're X, Y, Z envy comes from, I wish I could be hanging out with them, but I don't get the opportunity to do it right now. They're spending their time with someone else. <laughs> it's where your thought process starts. Fair, fair if you're enough. afraid that they're going to steal you from them, you're already failing because th they wouldn't be in an open relationship with you if they didn't want to stay with you because right? they could just break up with your ass and go fuck somebody else. Right? So it's about envy versus jealousy. It's But people are so insecure 
Damn. that they can't even fathom that like yeah he's out with another woman right now but he loves me he 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 took the time to sit down and talk to me about an open relationship and tell me he wants yeah. to be with me or Damn. vice versa with a man and a woman Damn. but then like i talked about if you're out banging a thousand people you're like how committed are you really to Damn. you know jonas and it's like man where where were you with these with these wise words of polyamory <laughs> when i was fucking up every relationship i've ever been in <laughs> <laughs> Saying. Like, <laughs> I'm sure I could approach one of them with this, and one of them might have been like, okay. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, but no, they just want to go through your fucking cell phone. <laughs> 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 Yes. Either way, we are not we are not suggesting that you hit your wife or your significant other with you want to go out and fuck August Alcina. Yeah, no, no, I you don't uh, want to do I, that. Uh, I am a hundred percent on board with anyone who wants to do an open relationship. I think it's completely healthy. Or if you want to stick to your conventional that type too, of relationship, because it's a uh, it's it's a it's a it's a very fair realization. I think almost anyone could gr- agree that no one person can be your everything. Period. Not one, there's not one person who can match every single thing you like to do. And if you give up something you like to do for another person, even if it's something as simple as I like to go fish and I like to fish with someone, eventually there, it will cause some sort of resentment because you love to fish and you can't go do it. It's not all about sex. It could be a, a partner that you go play. Yeah, like, yeah. You find a girl who likes to go fish. Do go fish with that girl. Yeah. If, whether you set, have sex or not, it's about the relationship you have. It could be a fishing relationship. It could be a, a fucking relationship. And I'm not look, Jonas. I don't want to get too deep about my own personal, but <laughs> I'm not necessarily trying to instill the the that that reality or the the logic or whatever you want to put. Yeah. Of nobody can be your everything. There's somebody out there for everybody who can a- accommodate you, and you can accommodate them. But you do have to realize that there are billions of people in, on right. the planet, and the chances of you finding that one, right? And, and the chances go of you buy a lottery who ticket. likes to do a hundred percent of everything you like to do, and that you're exactly. not going to have to give up something that you enjoy doing, Oof. are very slim. Let me put let me put it to you this way: This is the thing I think you could probably understand about this. So, say you have a girl, and you guys have a great relationship. She hates video games, right? What are you, wait, hold on. Wait, no, what are we trying this, to say here? But like, but say. You you had a friend that was a female that yes. just loved playing fucking video games. What do you and mean? and your girl was like, that's fine. She can come over and play games with you anytime you want. And if you guys happen to like fool around or whatever, what? that's cool. <laughs> no, that's not cool. <laughs> that is not cool. <laughs> I'm just scared. I understand. <laughs> like, if I like to play video games and my girlfriend doesn't, then I find a girl who does and we play, then that's one thing. But as soon as you start putting your penis inside of her, <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid she has an argument there. <laughs> unless I've discussed it with her prior. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. So just be just be <laughs> open. Talk to your partners out yeah, there. Absolutely. There is a chance that they might want to fuck August Alcina and that you can go out and go fuck models. And then everybody's happy. <laughs> yeah, right. Right? Well, I think. And then I think- while you're at home playing video games you can imagine your wife out there getting slammed by this big black seven inch dick <laughs> okay yeah. i'll come and fuck your wife <laughs> but then she's getting 10 inches <laughs> just yeah. putting it out there i mean whatever dude you know you gotta do what you gotta do but uh no man it's a it's an interesting thing i i don't know i i 100 percent could do it but on the same note i wouldn't want to well the well the other thing is too is like <laughs> anyone could say they could or couldn't do it until they're faced with the thought of like their partner's out on a date with someone else like it can sound great all day like i've had a friend before who she's been like man you know i i would like to like um my husband isn't into like trying to like like open our stuff up or like even have like you know another, bring another girl in blah 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 blah, blah. And then and she's like, I just can't believe why he isn't into that. You know, who wouldn't want to do this? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't know. It's just it's this thing. Funny thing is, she's like, he always didn't want to do it because he told me that if I he saw me with another woman, I would get upset. And I'm like, dude, you're crazy, blah, 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 blah. And then lo and behold, one night they're at the bar and some girl approaches them and is talking about him. And like, she's like, yeah, maybe we should all whatever. And the girl was hanging on her husband a little bit. And she was like, I got very uncomfortable. I don't like this. I don't want to do this anymore. And it wasn't even like a, it wasn't even like a, they didn't even have sex. They didn't but it was like he was showing her a bunch of attention. She was showing him attention. Mm-hmm. And she was like, wait, mm-hmm. wait, I don't want to do that anymore. So mm-hmm. it's like when you get in the situation. I've heard stories like that. It's a lot different. Uh-huh. You can think you're fine all day. But uh, emotions are a crazy thing, dude. They're real. <laughs> so 
let's get to one more thing before we get out of here. This <laughs> turned ahead. into the polyamory episode. I like it, though. I know, yeah, that's fine, dude. Um, okay, in the UK, they are talk- I, I, I really actually like this story a lot. This week, they are, or not this week, this, I think this month, they're going to start looking at regulations to, uh, okay, I guess we're just, (laughs) we're going to look to regulate the junk food industry like they regulated the tobacco industry. Oh, but the, you don't got to be 18 to eat a Snickers. No, no, no. But what, what they said is they want to regulate uh, processed food like tobacco. And what I'm, what the, what they were talking, I have a few examples here. Oh, they're going to put warning think, labels on Think it? Joe Camel. Remember when Joe Camel was on, was on the cigarette packs? Yeah. No cartoon characters, no fruity flavors. What, stuff uh, like that. what they're talking about putting into place that might, they've already put a sugar tax into place, which has helped. Um, because the obesity problem in the UK is nowhere near as bad as it is in the US. Ooh, but, number but, one, baby. Right. Yeah, number, number one, one, Corona, number one with you. <laughs> Jesus. But uh, but they but they re- recognize it's a problem. So some of the things that they're talking about implementing, and I think all of this is great, to be honest. It would even help adults. Because, you know, you you see advertisements, you see things like that, it it triggers you to want to go eat Taco Bell. Sure. So they said restrict grocery sale promotions and sales on junk food. So it's so you can't get it nearly as cheap. Mm. Uh, restrict how close fast food restaurants can be to schools. Because if you think about it, almost every fucking school, mm-hmm. there's a fast food place walking distance. And, and that's probably by design. I right. can see that being Because by they're design. like, oh, kids got out of school. They walk by and they get a pop or a frosty or a whatever. Uh, limiting the TV ads for junk food and fast food before 9 p.m. Because they did that with alcohol, too. They, they restricted that you can only advertise after 9 p.m. Really? Because kids, a lot of young kids were in bed by then. Yeah. Because they target kids, dude. They do it on kids' shows. They do. They do. Uh, banning huh. sweets at checkout. So, so all that impulse candy at the checkout, like, ban yeah. that and make it more product. Just still do product placement, just not junk food. Fair, fair. And the last one I think is amazing, plain, plain packages. So it could just be like, like plainer pack. Now I'm not saying like b- white box boxes with black letters, but like. All right. So while I I get it and I do appreciate them trying to take steps to try to deal with the obesity problem or kids even being exposed to it as much. Right. I kind of feel like that's anti-capitalism, man. But dude, why then? Why you're with gonna, tobacco? You're gonna limit. Why, why is it okay with tobacco? Because the same the same argument, people should be able to police themselves. Yeah, okay. you know, and that's the thing is like, why with tobacco? I guess because tobacco really doesn't have any inherent positives. There's nothing what, good about smoking. What does junk food positives have? That what is the good eating a candy bar? Nothing. Literally no benefit to you. I don't know, Jonas. I've definitely been so broke in my life where McDonald's double cheese got me through the month. Well, yeah. Well, that aspect as far as cheapness, but like as far as like candy and stuff, like that doesn't serve any purpose to anyone. It literally, it's funny that like, and we gotta we gotta wrap this discussion up because we're getting close to the end. But it's funny how things like a Coke used to be like a delicacy you had with like a meal at a restaurant. And now it comes where people like, it's like people like in the fifties where Coke came out, people weren't oh, drinking yeah, Coke yeah, 10 yeah. times a day. Well, they didn't have a 12 pack or right. a 24 exactly. cube. They didn't so, have the cubes. So you go out to the restaurant, you have a Coke. It, w- it was never really designed to be something to drink 10 cans a day of Say, candy bars. It's not meant to buy 30 little Debbie snacks and eat them all day long. I mean, that is true. That's true. So, but people can't regulate themselves, and that's the problem. Uh, same thing with tobacco. Same thing with alcohol. You, and I'm not going as far to say junk food's a drug. I'm not. I'm, even though sugar <laughs> is very addictive, I'm, but on the same, like I said, man, there's nothing inherently good about tobacco. Whereas sweets are only bad in excess, right? Because you can eat. You need. You need a certain amount of carbs. If you eat one little Debbie. And you continue out your day, obesity's not going to be but your problem. You smoke one cigarette because you're stressed no, out. No, but cigarettes are bad, period. Every cigarette is a minute off your life. But every little Debbie ain't a minute off your life. It's every fourth little Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a minute off Fair. your life. 
I don't know. I, th- I think it's a wonderful idea, but on the same note, I could definitely see these companies having the issue, especially when it comes to, I can't advertise. I can't have my packaging look a certain way to compete with my competitors. I can't, I can't put my stuff in certain areas of the, of the, uh, of the grocery store to incite purchases. That's what their bread and butter is. Huh? Yeah, but here's the thing, though. The, that industry, fast food, processed food. Too big to fail. That, and it's gotten out of control. Like, they literally make shit is barely to the, pro, the, to the regulations of it to be considered food. The cheapest possible way they can create it would be, you know, we have to have X amount of protein. We got that in there. You know what I mean? Like, it's not – that industry is nowhere – their focus is not to provide healthy options for people no. to survive. Their option, their their mindset is let's put out the cheapest, most processed shit we can to make the most money on every box we sell. They don't give a fuck about the people's health. Wow. They don't give a fuck about anything. They want money. Wow. Yeah, why am I fighting for them? You're not even wrong. Why am I caping for that for them? I guess I was just being devil's advocate, but yeah. I mean, fuck them. You're right. <laughs> yeah, like fucking... <laughs> Uh, Little Debbie ain't out here being like, how can we make it healthier for the kids? Mm. How can we make it tastier? They buy more. Mm. How can we how can we process our chicken nuggets more oh to get make one cent more per nugget? Do you remember the KFC double down? <laughs> yeah, the two the two chicken patties with bacon in the middle. <laughs> I never yeah. had one, but I did hear about them. Yo, I had one. <laughs> one. One. It's too good. No. It was bad? I mean, it was like... Chicken buns with bacon? It was good, but you felt like you were, like, sinning before God or something. Like... Jesus. (laughs) Like, if your mom walked in the room and caught you eating one, she was going to kick you out of the house. (laughs) She's like, how dare you bring that in my home? (laughs) No, this is the last straw. Dynamite. (laughs) Yeah, dude, I don't know. I think it's a good thing. I doubt that'll come to our country because I think it's too big here. There's too many... Jeremy Kyle... Or Jeremy Kennedy tried... It didn't work. Yeah, dude. It uh, it, but it, but I think it's just gonna become a bigger problem. That's why, and that's honestly why the obesity rate in our country is so high is because the healthy, the healthy options are expensive, the bad options are cheap. People are broke. People want quick. People don't want to take time to make healthy food, and people don't do shit. Yeah, not even wrong. So not even wrong. Whole Foods is way too expensive. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, if I go in the store and I can buy a $7 bottle of juice or a $4 bottle of juice, which boost am I buying? I don't know. Which boost are you buying? Boost for my giant, dude. <laughs> which boost are you giant? <laughs> so, but anyways, that's uh, just something to think about. You know, we talked about whites getting cucked and healthy foods, dude. Whoa, for every whoa. episode of the Fit Crazy Down podcast has a nice little cavalcade of craziness, dude. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so that's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you already do that, he's on Twitch and stuff. TNT Dynamite on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock Central. TNT Dynamite on my GHT underscore crazy tune. Sweet. So uh, for Jonas, TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We all right. Yep. Oh, that.